the mission behind your work and why you are so passionate about doing this. Evidence of reincarnation uh, not only helps solve one of the great mysteries of life, does our consciousness survive, what happens after death, but what's really uh, striking to me is that there's ample evidence that show that from lifetime to lifetime we can change religion, nationality, and ethnic affiliation. Yeah, so you have a case. Yeah, Mushar Ali. And Mushar Ali was a Muslim who lived in Lakori in India in Uttar Pradesh. His father was Haider Ali, and his father was a very religious man, um, a Muslim, and he devoted his life to praying for others. And as it happened, that meant that Mushar Ali, his son, became the primary breadwinner for the family. And he would make a, a living for them by selling vegetables and fruits at different markets. When he was 25 years old, he rented a horse cart to sell mangoes at a market. And two miles out of town, he was tragically struck by a tractor. And he incurred rib fractures on the right side and, and died pretty much instantly. About a year later, uh, a fellow named Naresh Sumar was born about a few miles away from where uh, Mushar Ali lived. And he was born with a depression uh, on his chest on the right side. And when he was one year uh, old, he kept referring to Lakori, the, the place where Mushar Ali had lived. And he st started to talk about a, a horse cart. In fact, as a, a child, toddler, he would bring a rug out and tie ropes to it, and he would pretend that he was driving a horse cart. When he was a little older, he started to pray in the, the Muslim style. His family was very surprised because they were Hindu. He was born into a Hindu family. When he was about four years old, uh, he told them that he had a past lifetime as a Muslim and that he had been taking mangoes to a market using a horse cart and he was struck by some kind of vehicle and killed. Coincidentally, Haider Ali would come into the town where Narish lived uh, once a week to do the praying for others and collecting alms. And uh, one day at four years of age or so, uh, Narish sees Haider Ali and recognizes him as his father and even called him Abba, meaning father. And he would follow him all around town and would ask him, please take me home to Lakori. And Hader Ali, being a Muslim, wanted nothing to do with this, you know, get away from me, kid, you bother me. Anyway, so uh, the child, though, kept being insistent and said, take me to Lakori. And so the mother finally relented and thought, I'll ask Hader Ali for help. I mean, he's a Muslim, he's from Lakori. And again, Hader Ali wanted nothing to do with this and said, send the kid to this shrine with a Muslim saint and pray that he stops talking about this past oh. life. <laughs> well, it didn't work and he kept talking about it. So finally, they, they took him to Lakori and he's like four or five years old. They come into the village and he leads them straight to Hader Ali's house without directions, without clues. Wow. Inside, he identifies family members of the Ali family by name. He identifies uh, possessions that uh, Mushar Ali had, and it was all correct. So I guess the message behind your work then is that we all come back in, as other religions. So really we're all one. Yeah, the prior show I talked about the Anne Frank case, who was persecuted as a Jew, reincarnated as a Christian. Barbro not only had the memories, she also replicated the talent of Anne Frank and was a child prodigy writer. It was everything from poetry to little stories, thoughts about the higher power, reincarnation, where we came from, where we were going, but nothing that I had memories from being Anne Frank or anything because I had decided not to talk about it anymore. And her first book became the best-selling prose book in Swedish history. And guess what? Barbro has the same face as Anne Frank. If, if the Nazis knew you could be born Jewish in one lifetime and Christian right. in another, the Holocaust could never have happened. So when you really accept reincarnation, it really makes you live your life differently. And rather than saying, I'm a Jew or I'm a Muslim or I'm an American or whatever, I'm a universal soul. That's so true. Well, I love how we are all a universal soul, and I congratulate you on your work and wish you all the best. Well, thank, thank you, you Walter. for helping out.